6th January 2023 Morning Murshli Aum Shanti Bhaktada Madhupan Sweet children, anger causes a lot of sorrow. It causes pain to yourselves and to others too. Therefore, conquer sin, thus evil spirit, by following Srimad. Question. Which children have a flaw in them every cycle and what will be their destination? Answer. Those who consider themselves to be very clever and do not follow Srimad completely. One wise or another remains in them in either in incognito way or in a visible form. They do not remove it. My attendants have found such souls. There is a flaw in such children every cycle. They will have to repent a great deal at the end. They make a great loss. Song Human beings of today are in darkness. Om Shanti You children understand that the animated father who is called Heavenly God the Father is the father of all. He sits here and explains to you children face to face. The father sees all your children through these eyes. He doesn't need divine vision in order to see your children. The father understands I have come from the supreme abode to the children. The children have also become bodily beings and are playing their parts. I teach the children face to face. Your children understand that the unmitted father who establishes heaven is once again liberating us from stumbling around on the path of devotion and is igniting our lights. Your children at all the centers understand that you belong to God's clan and that this is also the Brahman clan. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is called the creator of the world. The Father sits here and explains how the world is created. You children understand that the human world can never be created without the mother and father. It cannot be said that the world is created through the father. No, it is said you are the mother and father. This mother and father creates the new world and makes the children worthy of it. Thus is his great speciality. It is not that they is come here from up above to establish their religion in the way that Christ established the Christian religion. Christians also call Christ their father. If there is a father, surely a mother is also needed. They say that Mary is the mother. But who was Mary? The new soul of Christ came and enters another body. And so, Christians were created through the mouth of the one he entered. It has also been explained that that soul had not performed any such action that he would have had to experience sorrow. It is a pure soul that comes. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, cannot experience sorrow. It is the corporeal one who experiences sorrow and is insulted. Therefore, when Christ was crucified on a cross, it was the one whose body the Christ soul entered who had to endure the that suffering. The pure Christ soul would not have had to endure pain. Christ was the father and so where could the mother have come from? They made Mary the mother. They have shown that the Virgin Mary gave birth to Christ. All of that was taken from the scriptures. They have portrayed Kunti, a virgin, and Karna being born through her. Now this was a matter of divine vision, but they copied it. Similarly, this Brahma is the mother through whom Matthew children have been born. 
then mama was made responsible for looking after you all the same happens with christ christ enters someone and establishes that religion his followers would be called the mount concretion of christ brothers and sisters christ is the father of the christians and the one whose body he enters and creates children with is the mother the mary was made responsible for looking after them and so they have considered mary to be the mother here the father says i entered the swim and create your children through his mouth so this mama is also a child born through the mouth these are matters to be understood in detail secondly the father says that a group of people are coming to abu today preach vegetarianism therefore explain to them that the unlimited father is establishing the duty religion of those who were pure vegetarians people of no other religion are such a form vegetarians they are to speak about the benefits of becoming a vaishnav however not everyone is able to become that because they are used to their own diet and find it difficult to leave it so you have to explain that all are vaishnavas in the heaven that the unlimited father creates they are part of the dynasty of vishnu deities are completely wiseless whereas vegetarians of today are vicious 3000 years before christ bharat became heaven explain in this way no human beings except your children understand what heaven was when it was established or who used to rule there they go to the lakshmi and narayan temple and baba also used to go there but none of them knows that the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan existed in heaven the simple thing they are praise but who gave them the kingdom they don't know anything at all even now they can't to build many temples because they think that lakshmi gave them wealth this is why business people worship lakshmi at the time of deepamala you have to explain to those who build those temples similarly you should also explain to the foreigners the praise of bharat 3000 years before christ bharat was vegetarian there can be nowhere else like that at that time there was a great deal of power it was the kingdom of gods and goddesses now once again that same kingdom is being established it is now that same period of time destruction to shankar has also been remembered it will then be the kingdom of vishnu again if you want to claim your inheritance of heaven from the father you can come and do so both ramesh and usha are very interested in serving they are a wonderful couple they are very serviceable just see how new ones come and go ahead of the old ones baba shows you many methods but if you have the arrogance of any of the vices maya does not allow you to rise a few have a little trace of lust whereas many have anger no one has as yet become totally complete you are becoming that maya continues to bite you internally it was when ram's kingdom began that these mice began to bite bharat has now become completely power to stricken maya has made everyone's intellect like stone maya surrounds even good children in such a way that they don't realize that every step they take is taking them backwards however they are given the life giving hope and made conscious again anger to causes a great deal of sorrow as well as making oneself unhappy it also makes others unhappy 
Some have this in an incognito way, whereas it is more visible in others. No matter how much you explain to them, they don't understand. They now consider themselves to be very clever. Later, they will have to repent. And that flaw will be in them every cycle. There is a lot of benefit in following Srimad. Otherwise, there will be a great deal of loss. The directions of both Srimad and of Brahma are very famous. They say about someone that even if Brahma were to come down from up above, that one would not listen to him. Krishna's name is not mentioned in this way. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul himself is now giving directions and Brahma too is receiving directions from him. The Father has a lot of love for you children and he makes you children sit on his shoulders and then on his head. The Father has the aim that his children should climb high and glorify the name of the clan. However, if the children don't listen to the father or to Dada, it means that you don't even listen to the senior mother. Just think what the condition of some will be. Don't even ask. However, serviceable children claim Bab Dada's heart throne. Baba himself praises him. And so, they must explain to others that this same Bharat used to be the kingdom of the Vishnu clan and that it is being established once again. Baba is now once again making the same Bharat into the land of Vishnu and so you should have a lot of intoxication. Those people beat their heads to glorify their names for nothing. Their expenses are paid by the government. Sannyasis also receive a lot of money. Even now, when they say that they teach the ancient yoga of Bharat, people very quickly give them money. Baba doesn't need anyone's money. He himself is the one who gives aid to the whole world. He is the one who is the innocent master of the treasure store and he takes help from the children. When the children have courage, the father gives help. People from outside who come here are very used to giving something to an ashram. However, you should ask them, why do you give here? You have not heard any knowledge. You don't know anything. We are planting a seed to receive the fruit of heaven. However, they will only know this when they listen to this knowledge. Millions will come in this way. It is good that Baba has come in an incognito form. If he were to come in the form of Krishna, they would all pile up like sand and would very quickly cling to him. No one would be able to sit at home. You are the children of God. Don't forget this. It remains in the Father's heart that your children should take the full inheritance. Many will come to heaven, but only a few out of multi-millions and only a handful out of the few have the courage to claim a high status in heaven. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Night class of 15th June 1968. If whatever has happened in the past is revised, the weakness in the hearts of those who have weak hearts also gets revised. This is why your children are made to stabilize yourselves on the rails of the drama. The main benefit is received by having remembrance. It is only by having remembrance that your lifespan will increase. 
If some children were to understand the drama, they would never have any thoughts about anything. This part of the drama aids for studying and teaching knowledge. This part will then finish. Neither the father's part nor our parts will remain. Neither his part of giving nor our parts of receiving will remain. So everything will become one. Our parts will then be in the new world. Baba's part will be in the land of silence. The reel of the parts is recorded. Our parts of our reward and Baba's part of the land of silence. The parts of giving and receiving are complete. The drama has ended. These parts will then change to those of our coming to rule. Knowledge will stop. We will have become that. When that part has finished, no difference will remain. The parts of the children and the father will not remain. This one will also have taken the full knowledge. Nothing remains with him either. Nothing remains with the one who is giving and nothing is missing in those who are receiving. And so both became the same as the one another. For this unit intellect that will churn. The main effort is of the pilgrimage of remembrance. The father sits here and explains when it is spoken about it becomes a gross thing. But it is otherwise something subtle in the intellect. You yourselves understand what Sri Baba's form is. When it is explained, it takes a gross form. They have created a huge linga image on the path of devotion, a soul is just a tiny point. This is the wonder of nature. Till when would you go into the depths of this? So finally, they say it is infinite. Baba has explained that a whole part is recorded in eight soul. This is the wonder of nature. No one can reach its end. You can reach the end of the world cycle. Only you know the creator and the beginning, middle and the end of creation. Baba is knowledgeful. Even so, we will also become full. Nothing more will be left to attend. The father enters this one and teaches us. He is just a dot. There cannot be happiness in having a vision of a soul or the supreme soul. You have to make effort to remember the father and your sins will then be absolved. The father says, knowledge will stop in me and it will also stop in you. You take the knowledge and will become elevated. You will take everything but nevertheless, the father is the father. Your souls will remain souls. You will not become the father. This is knowledge. The father is the father and the children will be remain the children. These are matters into which you have to go deep and churn. You also know that everyone has to go back. Everyone is going to return. Only souls will remain. The whole world will finish. You have to remain fearless and thus. You have to make effort to remain fearless. No awareness of your bodies should remain. You have to return home in that state. The father makes you the same as himself. Your children also continue to make others the same as yourselves. You have to make effort to have remembrance of the father alone. You still have time for this. You have to hold intense real souls. If you don't practice this, you will come to a standstill. Your legs will tremble and you will suddenly have heart failure. It does not take long for a Tamapradhan body to have heart failure. The more you become bodiless and have remembrance of the father, the closer you will continue to come. Only those who have yoga will remain fearless. You receive power through yoga and wealth through knowledge. Children need power. In order to receive power, continue to remember the father. 
Baba is the eternal surgeon. He can never become a patient. The father now says, continue to take your imperishable medicine. We are giving you the life-giving herb so that no one ever falls ill. Simply continue to remember the purifier father and you will become pure. Deities are constantly free from disease and pure. Your children have the faith that you claim this inheritance every cycle. The father has come now as he has come countless times. Everything that Baba teaches you and explains to you is Raj Yoga, the Gita, etc. all belong to the path of devotion. Only the father shows you the path of knowledge. The father comes and raises you up from the bottom. Those whose intellects have firm faith become beads of the rosary. Your children understand that you have been coming down while performing devotion. The father has now come and inspires you to earn a true income. Physical fathers do not inspire you to earn as much as the father from beyond does. Acha, good night and namaste to the children. Essence for the dhatna. First point, in order to become serviceable, remove any trace of vice. Have a lot of enthusiasm for doing service. Second point, we are the children of God. On the basis of Srimad, we are changing Bharat into the land of Vishnu, where everyone will be from Vaishnavas, means pure vegetarians. Maintain this intoxication. Blessing. May you be a spinner of the discourse of self-realization and remain constantly free from any spinning of sorrow. Means being caught in sorrow and free others to explanation. When some children are influenced by their physical senses and say, Today my eyes, my mouth or my vision deceived me. Then to be deceived in this way means to experience sorrow. People of the world say, I didn't want it to happen, but I got caught in that spin. The children who are spinners of the discus of self-realization can never be caught in a spin means web up deception. They are the ones who remain free from any spinning of sorrow and they free others too. They are the masters who make all their physical senses work under them. Slogan Remain seated on your immortal throne and maintain your elevated honor and you will never be upset. Om Shanti